Hello, welcome to this session of test question analysis. We're gonna talk about interest rates and a real estate calculation and a play on words. In other words, when you read the question, there may be other answers associated with it that will look correct, but is not the right answer. And it's all in reading the question correctly, okay? And so I usually call that a play on words. Okay, so this is what we're going to talk about this session and test question analysis is interest rates. My name is John Enzing. I'm a licensed real estate instructor in both Louisiana and Florida. And my specialty is one-on-one -on -one private tutoring with you, the student, to prep you for the state exam. It's non-credited hours, doesn't count towards your 90 hours um, for credit. And so I'm just prepping you for the exam only. Okay, if you need some time, one-on-one, -on -one, go to privatetutoringsession.com, privatetutoringsession.com, and book you some time with me one-on-one. -on -one. Or you can email me at john.enzing at gmail.com. All right, let's go ahead and dive on into this. We're gonna talk about real estate interest rates. Here we go. So you may have a question that's similar to this that says, if an interest payment of $1,000 is made every three months on a $40,000 loan, what is the interest rate on the loan? And of course, you're going to have and know that interest rate is expressed in a percent. So I got 12%, 10%, 15%, and none of the above. Okay. Again, an interest payment of 1000 is made every three months for, on a $40,000 loan. They want to know what the interest rate is. So when I look at a problem like this, I'm going to go to my scratch paper and start writing down a few things I know about interest rate. So the first thing I want to kind of remind myself is what is interest rate? Well, it's an amount of money you're gonna pay above the principal loan amount that you're borrowing. And that amount you're paying above that principal amount is the cost of borrowing money, okay? So if you borrow $40,000 on a loan, the interest you pay on that is the cost that you're paying to borrow that money. Now, you have to know this. This is very, very important that you understand this concept when it comes to interest is calculated on an annual basis, okay? So it's annualized when it comes to interest, okay? You wanna know that for the state exam. So when you calculate interest, you're doing it on an annual basis. Now, I like to have a memory aid. When I think about interest, I like to use the term Irv the banker. Okay, Irv the banker, which equals interest equals rate times value. So the interest is the interest rate, or excuse me, the interest is the amount of interest paid. Rate is the interest rate and value is the loan amount. Okay, so Irv the banker. Now, let's look at the play on words here. I'm going to underline the real key elements that you need to see in this test question. So if an interest payment of $1,000 is made every three months, Okay, so every three months on a $40,000 loan, I got to figure out how much of that is annualized. How much interest am I paying a year if I'm paying $1,000 every three months? And so you can see as I got under the number four, I got play on words. Interest is $1,000 every three months. How many three months in a year? So there's four three months in a year. So we call them quarters. So you got one quarter is three months, two quarters, three months, three qu third quarter is three months, fourth quarter is three months. That equals four payments every quarter or every three months, okay? So now I know I'm paying $1,000 every quarter, every three months for a total of 4,000. Remember, I'm annualizing this. I need to get an annual interest rate of $4,000, okay? So now that I've got my annual interest rate, I'm going to revert back to my Irv the banker. So my interest is $4,000, that's the total annualized interest. My rate, that's what I'm looking for, and my loan amount is gonna be 40,000, okay? Or the value. So Irv the banker, interest 4,000 equals the rate I'm looking for, and the value, which is the loan amount, is 40,000. If I algebraically apply that, I'm going to divide 4,000 by the loan amount, which is 40,000. Because I'm looking for rate or R. So if I take 4,000 divided by 40,000, I get 0.10 and I convert that to a percent, I get 
Okay, so answer B. Now listen, pay attention to me closely because a lot of times people will take just a straight thousand dollars, multiply it by 12, or take a straight thousand dollars and just divide it by 40,000. So there's all kinds of different ways you can work this problem to get different answers. So always remember, you wanna annualize and they tell you in the problem that you're making $1,000 every three months. So every third month you're making 1,000, there's four in a year. So four times one is 4,000 is the annualized interest rate. That's what I'm gonna divide by the loan amount, which gives me a 10% interest rate, okay? And listen, I hope you enjoyed this little short session on interest rate. Remember, read the question, watch the play on words. Okay, it's very important. Listen, if you need help, privatetutoringsession.com, go to privatetutoringsession.com, book an appointment or email me at john.enzing at gmail.com. Good luck on your test. Bye for now.